Welcome back to the Advent Building Season, you know, Star Wars Lego Advent Building Season. This is the 2022. I'm trying not to give away and go day by day for all of the purists out there. So here we go. The full 2022. Again, I must have uh, overly ruined it. <clears throat> so we'll kind of open it up. I did do in... Uh, Full disclosure, I started with my family. They're kind of like doing their own thing at this point. So this is day one through seven. The following week, I'll do eight through uh, 14. We'll do 15 through, we'll, and we'll just con kind of complete it out right before the holidays. So I'll do essentially, and I have five advent calendars. There's one here, two here, one I have um, uh, next to me. So they'll essentially be 15 videos and then I'll do full reviews on all of the sets and release those in January. So that way if people want to look on the aftermarket you want to kind of get a feel for the pieces, you can get a feel for the figures and I'm hoping at some point, um, probably I'm hoping in the next year I want to have all the advent calendars so that way each year I just need to just get the advent calendar and I will have a complete collection. So to date, I just have the two, the um, I have all the micro fighters. Of course, they just announced the Slave One slash Boba Fett's Starfighter. Um, and let's get into these here. So first one, there we go. First one was the. Look at that. That's a that's a nice looking. It's kind of that polybag janky micro build, uh, if you will. Like getting these parts, but it's the it's clearly a gunship, so that's pretty nice to get out of the gate. They do give you an extra part. Those bucket handles, which actually Ben Brick Designs likes to use these for the micro fighters. So I can fully say that this is a useful part that I need to have in my collection. So thank you, Lego. Ran out of the gate. Actually, I didn't even think about that when I was uh, filming, recording. Ooh, number two. There we go. This is everybody's favorite. The clone commander. Um, or pilot, depending on how you look at it. Although pilots don't have this fin on there. So really nice figure. You know, just kind of lowered his value nice, you know, include him in the advent. I mean, advent calendars inclusions don't really hurt the value of a figure, in my opinion. Um, in fact, three sets. Microfighter, right? No, this one's not the microfighter version. Okay, so this is the same. I don't know, this is kind of, you could even say, this, this hasn't been officially a named character you know commander ponds but this was in the clone army set this was also in the gun sh the recent gunship and then now it's in the advent calendar but it seems to be holding value uh pretty well um this is one where you know it, it maybe it'll flood the market a little bit but advent calendar is not like insanely popular so you're probably again still looking at you know, typical clones, you know, stay pretty strong in that 8 to $10 range minimum is where most of them float, and I think this one's going to kind of stay there because it's, it's such a cool figure. I really like it. Um, I don't really feel the need to have an army of them, but it's a nice figure nonetheless. So, all right, so day three. Oh, and I haven't, I haven't pulled day three. That's weird. Okay, here we go. Day... Three, what is this? Okay, I've got to look at the instructions. Oh, it looks like a little command outpost. So we'll take a look. Get that built. Maybe I should uh, pull this this way. So you can see me build. Blocks the light, which sucks. Darn it, I need better light. Uh, okay, how is this going to work? Alright, so we got three of these. Just like that. You're getting a little building. 
And again, like I, I feel like a broken record. I love advent calendars purely because the figures. This one I think is going to be highly anticipated in terms of the figures are pretty solid overall. And again, you, you get some unique parts that are typically on theme for the most part. I mean, the Christmas portions don't. Wow, look at this. Getting some good antenna pieces. There we go. Okay, that's done. Uh, it's kind of a weird setup. Okay, so this goes like this. Ooh, black slopes. You can never have enough black slopes. This is extra. I think these two are going to be extra. Uh, whoa. Whoa, I knew it was falling. Okay, so this one. Oh, okay, so the there's a blue one goes like this just like that <clears throat> I don't know what this is supposed to be this is kind of weird to be honest you know what's this supposed to like curl in I guess it could, oh, it could be the tri, oh, maybe this is like the tri-shooter, or the, you know, you know, thing. Tri-fighter or whatever. Here we go, so it's kind of that tank, tank thing. Oh, that is really neat though, how, <laughs> that's impressive, with a couple extra pieces. There we go, day three, and then day four. What, did I skip a day? I must have. Uh, okay, so I built this one. Remember this was an interesting build. Now it's breaking. Because uh, it doesn't fit. And there's that ship, so it's kind of the cruiser look right there, day four. Nice pieces. I kind of like how they, the shaping of it, and uh, we'll take it. So four days, three micro builds. I mean, this is an amazing figure. I'd be happy about that right out of the gate. They did increase, Lego did increase the price for this year. So it used to be $40, and now they've upped it. Uh, I did do day five too. I skipped day three. That's weird. And then here we go. I feel like every year they just kind of like, here's another battle droid. Here's your, here's your dollar fifty of value um, for a clanker. That who knows? There's probably a subsection of fans that don't even like it. The good thing is, is that they do give you some spare parts, so that's not bad. It's like uh, it's pretty weak inclusion. I think at the very least they should introduce a red or green or give you something like something please give me value give me value especially for upping the cost it's like come on all right here we go oh here we go we got a micro build of the bad batch shuttle another great set it's coming to retirement i just built it the big one so that's pretty neat and you'd need a ton of this to make a dent in my sand blue collection. <laughs> Ooh, this is, there's some cool parts in here. Dang. This will connect like this. There we go. So that'll be the middle of the ship. And then this right here. Wing number one. 
There we go. Okay, this is weird. There it goes. I think. Yeah, okay, that's gonna play. That's nice. Oof. I was concerned. I was concerned that I was doing it right. This goes there. Goes there. Wow. Sand blue tiles. Nice. Let's go. Oh wow, that snugly fits right in there. So there you go. Micro sand blue bad batch shuttle. Kinda of surprised there's a hole. Hmm. I don't think I'm missing anything. No. Oh I see. There is one. There you go. I guess that gives it a little bit more of a shuttle look. All right, whatever. Number six, great parts. Seven, down here. Come on, figure. And nope. Micro build. Oh, man. Oh, parts are falling down, too. Hmm, this is kind of weird. The random pieces floating around in here. May have been for one of my other builds, but. And it's another sand speeder, so we do know from the year 2018 advent calendar, the uh, sand speeder was the first build of the advent calendar. So this is not a new concept at all. This is. Totally been done. So congrats to the uh, design group. They must have been holding on to this one. Yeah, yeah this thing's complicated. Why has it got to be so complicated? Why are there so many extra parts in this? Holy cow. Oh, let's see. Okay, so. So, alright, so all of this probably shouldn't have been there. Hmm. Whatever. There we go. Still a lot of leftovers. Dang. Here you go. That was a lot. This is terrible. Land speeder. I don't know. These micro builds sometimes. I'll take the parts. So there we go. That's day seven. So that's it for 2022. Day seven. So stay tuned to next week when I fumble around with the rest of it. So really a figure. This is a throwaway. In four micro builds, I you know I think of the micro builds, this one's a little bit more poly bag esque. If it was like maybe a little bit bigger, and then this is a really really smart design, very clean from every angle. So probably one of the better builds. It I don't know what it was at first when it was like this, but when it kind of comes down here at this level, you can kind of tell that it was a the tri tri droid. Uh, and this is just, man, what the heck are they doing? So thank you so much. Um, join me on the next Advent Calendar build. Bye for now.